Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of DK Tour Fishing. Today we are talking about some new innovative technology on the market and I have it sitting here in a very small box and it weighs less than five pounds and I wanted to wait for you guys so I can open it with you and show you what's inside. Um, this is Amped Outdoors new 32 amp hour NMC lithium battery. It's specifically formulated and created for sonar electronics. So, um, you know, this applies to anybody with a bass boat, this applies to anybody with a kayak, this applies to anybody cutting a hole in the ice, ice fishing, and, and more. You know, this thing right here, I'm going to explain the technology that is incorporated into this battery um, after I do the unboxing. So let's do a little pretty unboxing first, and then we can get into all the technology, and we'll compare it to the other lithium batteries on the market, and uh, I'll kind of give you guys a good comparison, because I was in the market for buying a new uh, battery, obviously, and I was having a really hard time finding the correct information or any decent information on YouTube. So here it is, guys, from me to you. This is from the heart. I'm not sponsored by Amped Outdoors, but I'm going to really explain to you guys from my best knowledge. I just got off the phone with them actually yesterday, so I'm pretty knowledgeable on the technology in this battery. Let's get into it. So we're all on box here. I'm um, just going to take this battery charger out. Um, one thing to mention about lithium battery chargers for different lithium batteries, usually, you know, lithium, lithium batteries are specifically formulated by the manufacturer. So that means that the lithium battery that you buy often is only compatible with the lithium battery charger that either comes with it or is made by the same brand name as the um the battery that you're buying. So that's something to always look into um, and double check about. So here's your battery charger. This is a five amp charger right here. Um, it comes with the power cable and as well as the connector that goes on that charger. It has the clips right here for your positive and for your ground um, that you'll put directly on your battery. Now if you see the battery right here, just to give you guys quick specifications, this battery weighs 4 pounds and 13 ounces and it comes with F2 clips. That's what that is right there. They're, I call them bunny ear clips. You see the plastic is on them. It comes brand new with the plastic on them. But that's what it is guys. That's what you're working with. They're very popular with smaller batteries for electronics and that is what you're working with here. So you'll be using F2 terminals um, on this battery. Um, the specifications, like I was saying, to be exact, you have a battery here that is 5 and 7 eighths by 3 and 15 30 seconds um, by 3 and 5 eighths. So a very, very compact battery for a 32 amp hour battery. It's, it's ridiculously small. It's the smallest battery I found for its power. So it's definitely supposed to pack a punch. Okay, now we talked about size, um, but just to give you a reference, this thing is the same size as the 18 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that Amped Outdoors makes, okay? So there's a 32 amp hour battery, it's the same size as the 18 amp hour battery. It's also the same size as a 12 amp hour Garmin battery, the SLA battery that Garmin makes, okay? So just think about that. Very small, it's gonna fit in your kayak, it's gonna come with you ice fishing right to your hole. The thing is, it's lightweight. All right, so it's a 32 amp hour lithium ion NMC battery. NMC stands for nickel magnesium cobalt. Now this is this thing's new to the market. It was on pre-order and it just came in. Um, so this technology just dropped. But traditionally, the NMC 
uh, lithiums don't really have the best reputation. So um, that's why I really wanted to dig into this so much extra and really just just dig as far as I can in to find out as much information as possible. I'm going to use this battery specifically for isolating my 360 Mega and isolating Gar um, the Garmin Live Scope on my bass boat. Um, this thing is great for isolating graphs, um, putting a lot of your uh, fishing graphs on this. There's a lot of benefits to isolating graphs on a bass boat um, and isolating power, you know, whether that's to give you a more clear readout, less interference, um, a more uh, steady and a higher voltage, just way there's no disruptions in current. So there's a lot of benefits to isolating power. So for me, that's the use that I'm going to I'm gonna be getting out of this battery. And the installation video for that stuff is going to be in a couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. Please subscribe to my channel if you aren't so far. And um, okay, so let's get let's get further into this. Now, why is this NMC suddenly better than the lithium iron phosphate LIFEPO4 batteries? We're going to compare this to a 30 amp hour amped outdoors um, lithium iron phosphate battery. And I'm going to give you guys the reasoning behind why this thing should be the answer or, why, or why it might not be the answer for you. That's really for you to decide. But let me give you the examples why. I want to tell you, this right here... Is two hundred and fifty dollars with the charger. This this whole this whole deal right here is what you're looking at for the thirty two amp hour NMC. Now, if you're looking at a thirty amp hour on um, the amped outdoors, the lithium iron uh, phosphate battery, uh, you're looking at a hundred and eighty nine dollars with the charger. The charger you get with that one is a three amp. The charger you get with this one is a five amp. Okay, so this one, um, in my opinion, I, I believe it should charge faster. Um, aside from that. Like I said, this battery is four pounds and 13 ounces. The 30 amp hour is six pounds and seven ounces. Um, so you have more amp hours in here um, in a lighter package. Um, mind you, they're different chemistries, which we're gonna get into. Oh, well, like I said, the meat and potatoes to the whole thing, the reason why I went with the NMC, right? Now, NMCs traditionally have a discharge cut off at um, 10 amps. Now the discharge cutoff on this battery right here is 12 amps. So that means that, you know, starting at um, a 14, it draws all the way down to 12 amps before this thing dies. Now this thing doesn't go down to 10 amps like your, um, your traditional LIFEP04. So your 30 amp hour lithium battery from Amped Outdoors, along with most, any, lithium battery um lithium iron phosphate battery they're all gonna have the discharge cutoff of about 10 um amps and you know for sonar electronics like a 360 mega and for a garmin live scope these components are very very um power sensitive and when you're talking about sonar components like that um, especially when you're running more than one of those types of sonar components or more than one graph on one battery. Um, now, you know, I have the 125 amp hour ionic battery on my boat right now and it's holding down everything. That thing is solid. Um, I got the, the, uh, the link for that video is going to be in the description if you guys want to see my whole setup with my whole boat with lithium batteries. It's sick, okay? But this thing is not for trolling motors. This thing is not for cranking over your big gas motor. Like I said, it's specifically for electronics, and this thing is not going to, to drop in amps. Even when it's on its last limb of 1% in battery, it's still going to give you the discharge cutoff of 12 amps. So that's huge right there because your Mega 360 is not going to turn off on you. Your Garmin's not going to go in low voltage, okay? So that's solving all those problems. That's a big deal for me, especially when I, you know, you're competing on such a supreme level of competition, uh, fishing the Bassmaster Opens, or even if you guys are just fun fishing, you know what I mean? Now, the internal components that actually make this a better battery. Now, they're not using cheap cells in this lithium battery from China, like a lot of batteries are using on the market. 
um, for the NMC batteries. And that's where this jumps over into a completely different category. That's why it holds its discharge cutoff rate at a, at a higher level than other NMCs on the market. This thing's made with Japanese um, metal and these cells are made from high quality Japanese metal that is really going to give you a longer lasting battery life. Now, what's the catch here, right? Because it sounds so great and fancy, and I've given you a lot of reasons why this battery might be better than a traditional, um, than a traditional lithium iron phosphate battery. But the, the thing that really made me question the whole ordeal is, is you know, I was on the phone with Amped Outdoors, and they were giving me a lot of um, the rundown on technology, and uh, you know, we started talking about charge cycles. And charge cycles is something that is really important to consider when you're in the market for buying a battery because what charge cycles are is, well, first of all, this battery comes with 700 to 1,000 charge cycles, which means that from its, it, it's going to be able to be charged all the way up to full and discharged all the way down to zero 700 to 1,000 times before it starts to lose its life capacity. And then once you get to that 1,000 and one charge it's not going to charge up to 100 percent still going to work but your battery is going to start to descend in life and that's how charge cycles work and the charge cycle on the 30 amp hour amped outdoors battery that has 2000 charge cycles so it has more charge cycles than this battery now right off the bat you're thinking okay 700 to 1000 charge cycles 2000 charge cycles the lithium iron phosphate battery lasts longer because it's right there in the math okay but the thing is is that before you just go looking and comparing numbers you have to consider that there's so many variables that are in between those numbers that you have to consider okay and i'm going to help you guys go through some of these variables this way you could understand the way that i understand why this is considerably a better battery and how you can draw your conclusion to make your purchase now a lot of it comes down to storage and I'm not just talking about how you're storing your battery in the winter time I'm talking about like throughout the week when you're just not fishing at all now if you are the type of person no if you are the person that is fishing 365 days of the year and you run your battery from full to empty and recharge it every single night and then fish again the next morning then the lithium iron phosphate chemistry is more for you but if you're fishing three days a week or you know what I mean or if you're fishing for a week straight or two weeks straight and then you're a week off you know then you have to start to think it's not so much about counting your charge cycles it starts to have a little bit more to do with um, your shelf life and the reason why this thing has such a better shelf life than your lithium iron phosphate batteries is because um, it's made with that Japanese metal and it has a way of balancing the energy inside the battery better. Um, that's the lithium iron phosphate batteries have a battery management system, which is called BMS, and that is what balances your cells when your batteries are actually, um, you know, not being used in storage mode. And those cells in the lithium iron phosphate battery, they typically have a harder time managing the balance of themselves than than this new chemistry battery right here. Um, so especially when they're in parallel or whether in when they're in circuit so the life expectancy of your lithium iron phosphate batteries really might not exceed your um your new nmc here with 700 to a thousand charge cycles but if we want to talk numbers and we want to put it in easy perspective let's look at it like this there's 365 days in a year right okay so do you fish 100 days out of the year? And if you do, are you going to drain this battery all the way from uh, full to empty every single time you fish? Well, if you do um, drain this battery every single time, which you probably won't, depending on what you have hooked up to it. Well, if you only fish for 100 days out of the year, well, guess what? You have seven years of charge cycles that you can get out of this battery. And that's if you don't and that's if you're absolutely killing it every single time. If you're not killing it every time, you're gonna get even more than seven years out of it. Okay? So um you have to consider quality sometimes over quantity. And I think that has a lot to do with this battery because the quality that went into making this 
in my opinion. I think it should be worth the extra couple of dollars. Um, and I think it should, I think it should really hold itself and prove itself with life expectancy. But overall, the main reason why I'm so interested in this battery is because it's not going to drop to um, any of my sonar components to low voltage that I plan on putting on it because it won't. It, it's it has a discharge cutoff of 12. You know what I mean? It's not going to go down to 10 amps. You're not going to have your systems anything stall on you. That's a bulletproof deal there guys and that's the whole reason for this and just to be safe now that i'm putting the live scope on the boat this guy is going to be installed the correct way and both of those sonar components 360 and live scope are going to have their own power source um there's going to be an installation video for you guys so look forward to that in a couple of weeks please like and subscribe to my channel guys i hope i you know, I was able to explain this to you guys in a manner where you can make a good decision to make a purchase because there wasn't a good amount of information on the market or anywhere for me to really base my, um, for me to base my decision. So I did all the dirty work for you guys and now it's just up to you pretty much. And I will get back to you guys, um, with a follow-up video with this battery later on in the season fishing the Bassmaster Northern Opens this year. So I'm going to be really drilling the hell out of this battery. Um, I'll give you guys an update and let you know exactly what's going on while I'm on the water. So stay tuned for that. I also have an update video for you guys coming out in the spring for my Ionic batteries. For me, I fish more than the average person. Um, so like I told the gentleman at Amped Outdoors, I'm going to be putting this battery through the full, it's full workout. You know, I'm going to be putting it through its full workout for sure. If you guys are still going to be questioning whether you should jump forward to this new technology, I will be your um, test dummy guys. Don't even worry about it. Please subscribe. Stay tuned. Have a great night, guys. See you later.